All right, guys. So this video we're gonna be talking about is the 2002 Firebird and kind of F bodies in general, are they still relevant in 2021? Is this car worth buying in 2021? Short answer, it depends. Long answer, here we go. Okay, the V8 cars have appreciated a whole lot recently. And personally, I don't think they are worth buying. They are very expensive now. They all have problems. They're all old. The newest possible one you can get is a 2002. And uh, yeah, if you're paying like more than $10,000 for a V8 F body, I think you got a problem, okay? There's better cars to buy. There really is. Now the V6 cars on the other hand are still very, very cheap. Like I'm talking $2,500, $3,000 cheap. I got this car several years ago for 1600 bucks. Now this particular car is probably worth more like four or five grand today, but still for four or five grand, this is pretty sweet. So is it worth buying? Let's go over the mechanics of it. Front suspension is relatively modern, okay? Rear suspension, okay, we're getting into like old school stuff back there. You got a live rear axle, three link. So you're talking like pickup truck-esque kind of suspension. And um, it takes some parts to really make it handle good. I have shocks and springs and an adjustable panhard bar, and it really does handle pretty good. But stock handling was eh, and the stock quality of the shocks, pretty bad. Stock shocks are pretty, pretty awful. But um, it doesn't take a whole lot of work to make these cars handle pretty good. But even then, it's still a live rear axle. If you hit a bump in the middle of a corner, the car does get jostled around. There's ways around that. You can do independent rear suspension conversions. You can do a Watts link. Maybe I'll look into that someday, but you just gotta be careful with bumps. Now let's talk about powertrains. So you have the 3.4 V6, which is on the early V6 cars. You have an LT1, which is the early V8 cars. You have a 3.8 V6, which is the later V6 cars, or you have an LS1, which is the later V8 cars. I would personally avoid the 3.4. Not because it's a bad engine, but because the 3.8s are about the same price and they're a better engine. You get 40 more horsepower, a lot better reliability, better fuel economy, all around just better. LT1s, they used to be really, really cheap. Now they're not. So really, I would kind of avoid an LT1 these days because the LS1s were never like dirt, dirt cheap. Um, but now the LT1s and the LS1s, the gap between the prices of them has really closed up. So... I would really go for an LS1, but the LT1s are cool. My first Trans Am was an LT1 and I loved it. It was awesome. But these days, it's <laughs> the LT1s aren't, aren't cheap like they were when I got mine. So is it worth buying? Definitely get a later one if you can. Not only because they look better, but because you just get a newer car in the end. It will probably have less issues, probably be better, uh, better condition overall, you know, Especially if we're in a northern climate like I am, the, the newer a car is, the chances are the less rust it has. So that's definitely the way to do it if you can. Another thing to consider is um, mileage. Okay. Now there's a lot of F bodies out there with like 80 or 90,000 miles that are still destroyed just because of how they were taken care of. Now this particular one has 102,000 miles on it and it's really not bad, but that's because the guy who owned it just really used it as like a fun commuter car. He just, you know, putted around town with it and he had fun. The guy who had my Trans Am, it has, my Trans Am has almost the same amount of miles as this car. We're talking like within a thousand miles of this car and my Trans Am is destroyed. Like I have to replace like much of the car because of how it was abused. And that's really what it comes down to is the, uh, the V8 cars are generally much more abused. So if you get a V6 car, chances are it wasn't ragged on so bad and it'll be a better ownership experience overall. Is it worth buying? In 2021, it comes down to what you are looking for. If you're looking for a cheap sports car, find a V6 F-Body. They're fun, relatively practical, they're cheap, and with some minor modifications, you can do a, you can do a pretty cool setup with it. So definitely, definitely something to keep in mind. The V8 cars, personally, Unless you can get it for a reasonable price, I'm talking under $10,000, I really, I really wouldn't recommend it. Unless you're like, I'm an F-body guy, I'm a die-hard F-body guy, I need like the nicest F-body known to man, 
and I'm gonna spend 15 or $20,000 on one, I mean, I think that's foolish just because there's better cars for the money. There really is. Fifth gen Camaros have depreciated a whole lot recently and they have become very good values. And that is a much better use of your money. So if you're if you're at fifteen thousand dollars and you're looking at a hundred thousand mile 2010 Camaro Super Sport or a hundred thousand mile 2002 Trans Am, get the fifth gen. Just do yourself a favor, get the fifth gen. It's not worth spending big money on F bodies. These cars used to be a dime a dozen. Now they're not. Not really sure why. I guess people just like the way they look or something. Um, I bought mine when they were really cheap, and I still love them. I kept them because they're they're really fun cars but man the appreciation of them is uh kind of hurts a little bit it's tempted me to sell them a few times but I, I like the cars too much to sell them but yeah my overall opinion is if you can find a nice 3.8 v6 car go for it because usually they're pretty cheap but if you're going to spend big money on an ls1 i mean just get a fifth gen super sport save yourself the hassle you get a better car in the end You'll have, you'll have a newer car, most likely less issues, much more comfortable, faster, much more modern suspension design, bigger brakes, you know, the list goes on. So just don't, don't overpay for an F body. Don't inflate the prices of these cars more than they should be, okay? This car right here, I don't think it should be worth more than like $6,000, okay? I think five grand is about what you would pay for this car. In my opinion what it's worth now obviously worth value is determined by what somebody will pay for it so if some idiot is going to pay twenty thousand dollars for a ninety thousand mile trans am then i mean that's what it's worth i guess but i'm just telling you make your money work for you buy a better car because these cars they're really cool but they, they have a lot of issues the build quality is not great they're not put together fantastic a lot of plastic stuff breaks stuff rattles they're loud so if you use the car like i do which is just a fun play car take it out have fun put it away then these cars can be a lot of fun and they can be a lot of bang for your buck but the v8 cars are no longer bang for your buck the v8 cars have their value has exceeded what they are actually worth but yeah that's my opinion on is the v6 firebird worth buying in 2021 yes is a really expensive v8 f body worth buying in 2021 no no it is not don't do it to yourself go buy a fifth gen even even an s197 mustang those are underrated cars those are fun i really like those and they're they for a while there they were really cheap they kind of shot up a little bit though but the coronavirus has kind of shot the prices of everything up a little bit but i'm sure the s197 mustangs will come back down but yeah any questions comments put it down in the comment section any recommendations for videos feel free to put them in there thanks for watching guys